Welcome to the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. The big day has arrived. We're here at the start line. Two years of work for these teams comes down to this moment. As predicted, many of the teams had to work through the night to get their cars as perfect as they can. All of Darwin have turned up to see this start line. It is going to be an incredible challenge. leaving Darwin now and we're following the team from the Netherlands car 21 and uh, already the streets are lined with people to, uh, to sort of clap and cheer them on. So here comes Team Arrow, about 150k out of Darwin already. That's Team Arrow looking great. As you can see behind me, there's a small grass fire already. So if there's not enough to compete with, now they've got to compete with fire as well. Okay, so we are following Team Toko at the moment, and just in front of them is Team Twente. We're about 195k out of Darwin, but just up ahead is an overtaking lane, so yeah, they're going to have a go at it. So Toko are now going to have a go at overtaking Twente. Let's see if they can pull this one off. So there they go, they're overtaking them now. So already, with 100, as I said, 195k out of Darwin, and already we've got a team overtaking another team. Well done to Toko. Okay, we're here in Catherine, which is 320 kilometres from Darwin. The first team in, as you can see, is Michigan. So this is a control stop. They've got 30 minutes they've got to wait here. Now, the rules have changed this year. They can't do any repairs on the car whatsoever. So in previous years, they've been allowed to do small repairs or maintenance, but that can't happen. The only thing they can do is change the driver. The other thing they can do is they can spray distilled water on the panels there that you can see. This actually helps them get a better charge out of the sun. So it's frantic already, but the first team in, Michigan. So there goes Michigan, University of Michigan taking the first to take off, obviously the first into the pits. So they've had 30 minutes and I've got to tell you, a lot happens in 30 minutes. Well, it's just gone past five o'clock and it is the end of day one of the challenge of the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. 
As you can see behind me, the Japanese team, Tokai car number 10, has stopped here. The way it works is once it hits five o'clock, each car must stop exactly where they are. And this is the spot that Tokai have stopped in. So this is their home for the night. Being in the outback is not the most comfortable place to be, but this is their home for the night. You can see the car tilted on its side. They do that so the car can capture the last rays of sunlight before the sun goes down. As I said, not very comfortable digs, but I can assure you this team will sleep very well tonight and they need all the rest they can get. There's a long road ahead.